Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are having one very interesting and challenging Diophantine equation x square y plus x y square over x square plus y square plus 1 equal to 1 and we have to find out all integer solutions. Denominator cannot be 0 as sum of two squares so straight away we will cross multiply x square y plus xy square equal to x square plus y square plus 1. Now I will take x square plus y square to the left side. So x square y minus x square plus xy square minus y square equal to 1. Now x square is common here. I will be writing y minus 1 in the bracket. And here y square is common. I need to write x minus 1 in the bracket. Right hand side is 1. Now I will use substitution. Let us consider x minus 1 equal to a. And y minus 1 equal to b. So x minus 1 equal to a implies x equal to a plus 1. y minus 1 equal to b implies y equal to b plus 1. Let's plug in both the values in our equation here. So x square, I will write a plus 1 whole square y minus 1 is b plus y square. So I will write b plus 1 whole square times x minus 1. It is a and right hand side is 1. Now I will apply a plus 1 whole square identity, b plus 1 whole square identity by the formula a plus b whole square. So I can write a square plus 2a plus 1 times b plus b plus 1 whole square. So b square plus 2b plus 1 times a equal to 1. Let us multiply a square b plus 2ab plus b plus ab square plus 2ab plus a equal to 1. Now 2ab and 2ab, it will become 4ab. So a square b plus ab square plus 4ab and then it is a plus b left and right hand side is 1. Now I can see from these three terms AB is common. So AB in bracket A plus B plus 4 plus A plus B and right hand side is 1. Now if I have to consider this bracket common then I need to add here plus 4. So same I will add to the RHS. Now you can see A plus B plus 4. Presume here 1. So this bracket is overall common. So I will be writing here A plus B plus 4. Second bracket I will write AB plus 1. And right hand side it is 5. Now I will consider factorization. Prime factors of 5, 1 and 5. So let me write 1, 5. Or we can write 5 times 1. This is also 5. Or we can write minus 1 and 5. Negative 5. So product will be plus 5. And then we can write negative 5, negative 1. This product will also be 5. Let us make one chart. So I will write here 
a plus b plus 4 and second bracket it was a b plus 1. Now let me write all the test values. So it will be 1 5 5 1. Then I can write negative 1 negative 5. Then I can write negative 5 negative 1. Now I will frame two extra columns so that I can find out a plus b and a b. How it will be? I will write here a plus b. I will write here a b. Now I will take away from this column 4. So if I will take away 4, then I will be having a plus b value. Let us write 1 minus 4, so minus 3. 5 minus 4, so 1. Minus 1 minus 4, so minus 5. Minus 5 minus 4, minus 9. Now we have to find out AB. How it would be? I will take away 1 from this column, second column. So 5 minus 1, I will write 5 minus 1 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. Minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So we have got four system of equations you can say or four set of equations which we will solve and we will find out from where we are getting integer solutions. So let me frame it first. So I will be writing here a plus b equal to negative 3 and a b equal to 4. First system. Second system is a plus b equal to 1 and a b equal to 0. Third system is a plus b equal to negative 5 and a b equal to minus 6. And last system is from this a plus b and a b value a plus b equal to negative 9 and a b equal to minus 2. So let us consider the very first one a plus b negative 3 a b 4. So I will write a plus b negative 3. Let me call system a and a b equal to 4. So I can consider this is sum of roots and this is product of roots. So let us frame one quadratic equation in a itself. a square minus sum of roots. So it will be 3a with plus sign minus times minus plus 4 equal to 0. Let me check delta only. So delta is equal to b square. So 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 4. So it is 9 minus 16. So it is coming out negative 7. Because of this is negative, complex solutions will generate. So we will reject system A. Rejected. Now let us consider system B. It was A plus B1 and AB equal to 0. Again I will frame one quadratic. A square minus sum of roots. So minus a and then product of roots 0 equal to 0. Now a is common a minus 1 equal to 0. So from here a equal to 0 or 1. Now a plus b is 1. So I can write here b value also. So this should be 1 and this should be 0 as a plus b is 1. Here it is. So I can write here a comma b. It would be 0, 1 and 1, 0. Now if you want to write x, y right now, then x is, if you remember our substitution, substitution was x minus 1 equal to a and y minus 1 equal to b. So I can write x comma y will be a plus 1 b plus 1 
a plus 1 comma b plus 1. So from this I can write x comma y add 1 to both the coordinates or both the values. So 0 plus 1 1 2 and here 1 plus 1 2 1. So first pair of solutions it is 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1. Let us consider system C. So I will write here system C. Here x plus y it was a plus b. Let me erase. So I will write a plus b equal to negative 5 and a b equal to negative 6. Let us frame another quadratic equation a square minus sum of roots. So it will become plus 5a minus 6 equal to 0. Now I can factorize it a minus 1 and a plus 6. You can check 6a minus a so 5a and minus 6. So a will be equal to 1 and negative 6. Now a plus b is negative 5. So I can write immediately b also using this equation. So I will be writing here minus 6 and here I will be writing 1. Because addition is negative 5. So we can write a comma b immediately. a comma b will be 1 comma negative 6 and negative 6 comma 1. So x comma y will be we can write a plus 1 comma b plus 1. So I will add 1. So it will become 2 minus 5 and minus 5 2. So here we are having another pair of solutions. Now let us consider system D. It was a plus b negative 9 and a b was negative 2. Let us frame one quadratic equation a square minus sum of roots so plus 9a and plus product of roots so I will write minus 2 equal to 0. Okay, let's apply quadratic formula immediately. So a will be equal to minus 9 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac so plus 8 divided by 2a. Immediately we can see it is coming out non integer value because of the square root 89 is there. So because of non integer value we can reject this non integer. So rejected. So let me write here our final solution. So our final solution will become x comma y. I will write 2 comma negative 5 then it is negative 5 comma 2 then it was 1 comma 2 then it was 2 comma 1. So these are our ordered pairs for the given Diophantine equation. I hope you can enjoy this video. Do not forget to like share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye bye.